Hi everybody, I'm Juan Pablo and in this video I'll be providing feedback to my research in media communication scores based on the RISE model. First of all, I must say I missed two assignments, 1.1 and 2.1. I should have taken more time to complete them. I had some trouble with the first one and the other one was caught up, got caught up with 2.2, but still I'll have to put more attention to it next time. Now, my first assignment was about creating a strategy for a food truck business. I truly enjoyed this assignment because it's the first time in this school that I feel like I'm doing something that I think about doing in my career. I mean, it's great to learn how to edit videos and everything, but I don't see myself doing that for a living. I do see myself creating marketing strategies. I like it a lot, and I put a lot of work into this assignment. I came up with my own concept of a food truck business, and I'm proud of it. The presentation should have been 2 to 3 minutes, mine was 4.30 and I still feel like I left some things out. I should have improved the audio quite a bit, but generally I feel good about this assignment. Assignment 2.2 was about creating a graphic containing a qualitative and quantitative data. I should have submitted that assignment sooner so I got feedback from my peers, but anyway I feel like my, like my graphic is clear and does the job. I chose The Dark Knight, one of my favorite movies, to represent how successful a movie can be, measuring qualitative and quantitative data. That point is very clear to me now. On assignment 2.3, I had to create a Storify report on, an, on unethical media behavior. I had a hard time finding the right story, mostly because the cases I knew and researched were all in Spanish. I tried to give it give an overview on it, but eventually I ended up still talking about the cases I already knew. I should have done that in the first place, explaining it with my own words and providing more and clearer examples to these cases. Next week I had to create a graphic that tried to make sense out of bunches of data. I provided an, an example in which the Olympic rings were representing the size of their continent's population. I think it's clear and it serves the purpose of the assignment. It is now quite clear to me that even when the information presented is true, the way it's presented can lead you in one way or another. Now the most important assignment of this month, I think, was the interview. I submitted it a little late and it took me so long to subtitle the whole 10 minutes of it that I couldn't present it along my peers. I should have taken more time to figure out what I was going to do in the first place. Now, in this assignment, I decided to go with my grandmother, even though she doesn't speak English. I thought it would be interesting to let everyone know more about her on the eve of her 19th birthday. I learned how to prepare for an interview and how to ask the right questions in this assignment. And at last, the final assignment, besides this one, was to create a survey. It was tough to come up with an idea, but I found something useful I've been thinking for a while. Full sale would full sale should have a space for sports. I got lost somewhere and didn't bring the survey ready the survey ready for Thursday class so I do that so that my peer reviewed it. I should have paid more attention. With that survey I learned how to ask the right questions and how to guess the best answers. Uh, generally, I feel this class has been the most useful for me this far in this school because I learned very different topics, all related somehow to my career, especially the marketing strategy, unlike math, of, uh, for example. Uh, and I, it truly got the best of me to go through with it. Mm -hmm. Thank you.